the food. Well, anyway, sorry for the te technical difficulties, but things are fine just now. Um, so perhaps, so it's really my honor to be here. And uh, my name is Ethan, and you can see my GitHub ID Doodle Wings. And I'm the co-founder of Affine. I built, created the, this editor, and I'm currently leading the, the team building this web front end. So and before joining Affine, I have spent years working on things like risk test editing, graphics editing, and real-time collaboration, things like that. And today is also my first time working so joining Affine is my full time, the first time <laughs> working fully open source, but uh, things just are kind of fine for me. Things, um, I, before this, I also have some experience um, embracing the open source communities. And well, today is also my <laughs> first time in having an English talk offline, but I think things should be fine since our product Affine <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> The, 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 the offline talk here should be fine because our product is an offline first product. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so and perhaps before we get started, we can have a very quick look of what we are building, which means what Affine is. You can see this is our client. You can see we have all oh, different versions, but Affine is basically a knowledge base. And you can check out Affine.pro as our landing page. And uh, basically, it could, pre, pre, mm, it could provide an editing, all-in-one editing experience. Things like, you, you, it just looks like you are doing some basic markdown editing steps. But when you click on the whiteboard mode, the content are automatically shifted into a whiteboard. And uh, you can think about we are kind of an open source alternative to Mm, big products like Notion or the Miro mm, whiteboard or the Monday for the task management. We build some things into it. And uh, the core cool stuff of our technology is that the, all of the content, the models you, you are seeing here is collaborative by default, but you also own your data, which means that the network for us is optional. And, it's, which is not a very easy goal because when you are using a web app, the data is on the server, but it's, well, that's really another big topic and we won't dive into too much technical details today. So um, it really feels good to have uh, using our own products to show um, this presentation. And uh, so today perhaps uh, it's more about some basic stories of what brings us here and uh, Perhaps this is the page about how we have the code start. And um, if something deserves to be highlighted, I want to quote that um, you just don't need to wait for everything to be ready. Because the first prototype of Affine was very different from what you can see now. You can see this live demo, and uh, it was a um, web page. And you can also switch between different modes the paper mode, the address mode, and there has some features that are never been done <laughs> perhaps a year ago. And it took about more than four months of development and to build that prototype, and, but um, it has pretty much um, stability issues. And uh, um, so basically, but it simply could work and can serve as an interactive prototype, but almost Oh, just with that um, degree of completeness, um, it has gained 10K stars within 40 days on GitHub. And it was also the number one in GitHub trending last month and with zero paid promotion. So that's something that the team is very proud of. Um, so when we look back from the starting of the five projects, um, perhaps I can see that Mm, people are really buying some points because, for example, the, the most mm, sensible features at that moment is that we unify the documents and the whiteboard, and you can you can see from that prototype to the current version that this is kept, and this uh, pretty much brings the novelty and that really matters. And 
Another point is that the community is really have a very high tolerance um, to open source products, and although you maybe have a very um, some, some architectural issues or things like that, but they are really permissive. And they are very now some people are just keep on trying new things. They will give you very positive feedbacks and that that is very um, that makes means a lot to the team at that moment. But um, we we want just doing something um, that is not going to be production ready. So we, we are not just willing to ship a toy. So the next part of our story is about to build a production ready pro product. So the, the point at the moment is that you need to be more user centric rather than so called investor centric. But having that demo is already good for uh, having uh, complete a, a new round. And anyway, um, the, the point is that um, at that moment, the previous demo, you will see that uh, for the, uh, the official team at the moment, the, the bugs are not converging, which means that once you fix one bug, it may bring two new bugs, and, <laughs> and, and that makes it perhaps forever could not be reached a stable state. So if you find that mm, the project has these tendencies, um, a timely rewrite is necessary, and that was the time I joined the team and uh, started to build in a project that is what you can see today. Mm, so that story has the strategy that we mm, doing things by step. That every, for every step, we ship a usable subset, subset um, at the, um, every major release. The, the, the first stage of the refactoring only pr produces a pure markdown editor, no extra UI widgets or things like that, just markdown editing, but things could work. And that is the moment that we enforce our team into dog fooding and uh, we were really using it, and this brings us to the positive feedback loop. And so the, for the second stage, we built uh, the, we built the UIs for things like this. You can see this is called the stash menu, and you can, all these kind of the widgets, you can drag things into, and to insert them. And, and these, these UIs are the, for the second stage. And for the final stage, uh, not the final, but the next stage, we added the previously complex um, content. For example, you can have the table view and have uh, this, this uh, it can be used as a multi-dimensional table that could serve as a spreadsheet. And, uh, and the whiteboard is also polished. And so when we move back, you can see um, that is how we Break things into some diff, um, rich progressive goals and uh, using the dog fooding to help building the quality better. So at, at this moment, the, the team's responsibility is not only about to deliver new features, but every member has some code or subsystem or modules to be responsible and he will um, try to check the issues that makes the quality better. So the next part of the, in, in our story is that on the way, on the journey to we, we build a file, we want to make, the, make, our, make our work scale. And it means that we need to hire the better people that could tackle the more complex um, system design in the editors. And that is the point that we found that open, open source really shines things mm. and you, you can you can see that there are some community mm, people they are just interested in the ideas you proposed and they volunteer in contributing it on into our products and uh, that was the way we have we built the, the sponsor relationship to some of our core community contributors and also in, in another way having a Mm, product with mm, good traction and momentum is also persuasive when you are trying to reach out some mm, brilliant community peoples. And this also brings a um, positive feedback loop for our story. And another part of our how we run our project is that 
we, after some different choices, we finally still choose this using the GitHub as the single source of truth for processing all the uh, development engineering affairs. Uh, so the, the good news is that you, uh, you can have a more truly built-in public style that can let outsiders engage. You can, for example, if you can check out the, um, our GitHub project, and the first view will be the help wanted, and we will tag some Mm, perhaps some, some are good for beginners issues and some of the uh, open mm. modules for you to, mm, for anyone who is interested to further design. And, uh, in, and each of, of our members are responsible for some of our mm, code modules and uh, this just works. And um, it also brings um, comparable matrices um, which I could simply share here as the, as the ratio between the, the issues you opened and closed. The, the more issues you, the, they are um, on the backlog, perhaps that means that the, there are more issues that are um, um, not got uh, properly maintained or things like that. So we are trying our best to lower the ratios and just to um, lower the, the entropy, I think. So, um, a um, very brief introduction of the commercialization with the open source is that we are actually using the so-called so open core model and which could be mutual beneficial for community and commercialization. Since the, the, the open source approach really offers the initial exposure since the, um, the GitHub has uh, great traffic for very interested developers. It, it serves kind of like product hunt for, but for many developers. And, uh, and in our case, it also offers uh, much lower the trial barriers. For, for example, you can easily try out our web version. If you, you are interested in our product, you can click the try demo online. And if you visited our repository, you can easily find our Docker image to build it into your, to integrate into your um, environment. And so this makes these things a lot easier and uh, we can also build a much more open ecosystem. For, for example, you can see that some of our competitors kind of notion they are using a closed ecosystem. You can't have plugins or things like that. And that is in our plan to help with that. And on the other hand, you can see the SaaS version um, is well, coming soon. <laughs> and, and in our goal, um, in our um, plan, it could help us to bring the sustainable income and uh, things we are having, uh, the, doing actually the SaaS business at the moment. And, and so, but there, there, I think there could be an, another further step that in our plan, which is that um, for the Mm, year of development, we have tackled tons of mm, problems in things like um, text retest editing and uh, mm, real-time collaboration and things like that. Some very, some very complicated technical challenges and some pretty much of them are pretty general purpose. So in our mindset, we believe that building collaborative applications shouldn't require this much effort to reinventing the wheels. So that's why we also open source um, the infrastructure, the general purpose infrastructure that we built behind Affi. The one is that I'm in charge of is the block suite, and it's, it's supposed to be editor in Affi and uh, our front end collaboration framework. And the other project is Octobase, which, in, which is in charge of Brooklyn, and he will speak briefly later, and um, it's our backend infrastructure. Well, they are not pretty much ready to open for Mm, uh, the very public re reusing because we are currently prioritized supporting a fine, but we are very willing to offer developer a much better experience into building the collaboration applications for the next generation. So that's pretty much for the, my talk, and thanks for <laughs> listening. That's it. Um, did, did you have the QR code for the Q&A? Sure, I think I have. Okay, let me think about. I also have it.
if there are some questions. But otherwise, if anyone has a question in person, uh, feel free to mm -hmm. ask it now while we switch over.